Stefan from Dry Fire Ninja here. So let's talk about movement. Uh, in terms of how important it is, I would say if your um, B class are lower, you shouldn't even worry about movement because fundamentals, mindset, and the planning are going to be way more important than movement. And really, movement can save you usually like a second or two on the stage and stuff like this, pure movement skill wise. And you're not really chasing these times before, you know, you were uh, a, B, uh, a, M or a GM class shooter. Uh, that being said, though, I had a request, so thanks for that. If you ever bought a book about shooting and never read it, please go ahead and smash that report button. The drills that I do are letter drills and some cone drills. And I like to do a variation of a letter drill that I call CQB letter drill. Basically, you run your favorite uh, drill back and forth instantly. And then you ran the letter and uh, just alongside the letter and just stop there. So let's say we we do the standard tiki shuffle. I think it's called the tiki shuffle. Um, then it's gonna look like this. Oh, and we always try to get low. That really the one trick about movement in USPSA is just get low and fucking stay low. And you're good. Get low, stay low. This is something that you can do in a very confined environment, like like a small gym, um, I don't know, uh, yoga section or whatever. Uh, they usually have like a different kind of surface that, uh, that will give you a good grip. Uh, some variations that you can add to this, something I never tried, are bands. Like when you have a band on your ankles or your knees or your hips, you can simulate a hand on weight. What I do is uh, actually do that with a, with a hammer and you can uh, use weighted vests as one as they are 550. Um, I actually like this, not for intensity, it doesn't really change intensity much. Um, and it doesn't really give you much more of a strain, although it does, but it's kind of not important, I think. What I really like about it, it makes you go more with your bigger muscles and it kind of makes you go lower kind of just builds that habit of getting low and staying low mm. to prove you the point of get low stay low just watch JJ Rakaza match videos and Christian Saylor and you will understand what I'm talking about that's that's basically it uh, another thing that nobody says about movement is movement is rather a passive skill um, you can work on it you can do conditioning for it you can become more athletic, you can lose weight. But really, during the match, during the stage, you cannot think about it. It's just something that that has to happen. Basically, your whole conditioning before that is where you really build your skills. But once you're on a stage, yeah, you can plan for like, maybe I want to do a cross feed here. And I need to plant my foot here so it gives me that lean. And you might think, okay, stay, stay low. Or like, at that point, I want to stay low. And explode out of low after I'm done with this array but other than that you don't really plan movement it just happens you just need to uh, to get accustomed to it and a good way to do it is like if your club keeps the walls and some props between the matches and you can come in and practice just build like a stage that you already had during the match and just run it a few times just um, and think about not going faster Never think about going faster. Like, you cannot outrun your fundamentals. And I have a pretty big experience in movement, parkour, skateboarding, acrobatics, shit like this. And really, fundamentals are going to be a limiting factor no matter who you are, unless you're like, nah, it's probably going to be for everyone. So you cannot run full speed. Never. Uh, movement in your space is more about merging positions together, making sure things that could be gotten on the move or gotten on the move, that the type of movement is proper, things like this. So movement is really basically positioning and there's like dynamic positioning, let's say when you're like actually shooting on the move and uh, static positioning where you have a strain on your body, like you need to crouch a lot or you need to be in a hard lean or both at the same time. Uh, just conditioning yourself for these type of things 
using exercises helps a lot. And um, if you do squats, continue doing squats, you know the deal, except maybe lower the weight and go deeper, like ass to the grass, because you really want to be comfortable in going as low as possible without any pain anywhere, you know, in your body. Um, deadlifts is a dangerous exercise if you never lifted before. So maybe learn deadlifts in like with a coach or search internet how to do it, I don't know. But deadlifts are really good, especially uh, considering that a lot of ports, it's easier to just, you know, like let, let's see how low can I go with my knees like this, right? And now from this more like relaxed position, how low can I go with my lower back? Quite a lot, huh? So that helps. And just building your core, especially for things like this, is good. So you can also get a dumbbell and like do this type of things. But really what I'm talking about here is just conditioning, 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 conditioning. All right, let's shut up about this and just talk the drills. So the drills that I do is the ticket shuffle that I already showed you. Um, and you can watch other YouTube videos about like football players, they use this for movement conditioning. But basically what it is, you start on the side, your front foot, the leading foot closer to the letter comes in, other foot comes in. Now the foot that you started with comes out and the other foot that's already in goes into the next cell. And now it just repeats. So you go back, out, next, in, out, next, in, out, Next. And it looks like this on low speed. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Uh, this one is hardest to learn and it like requires the most coordination. But to start getting into this, you can just use in and out. And in and out is easy. You just in, step to position yourself better, out. In, step to position yourself better, out. Shit like this. And you do it both feet. So you first you do the right one in, then the left one in. And when I do it again, I use my CTB mode, uh, which is I go all the way forward. This one is easier to reverse. Then I go all the way back. And I accelerate. And my third favorite is just the same kind of thing, but both feet in, and you just start perpendicular to the thing. So in, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. And there are two ways you can do it. So again, I do it back and forth, and then like you, you can turn and run. Or when I'm here in like in a, in a big space, I really like baseball fields for that. I will just like go back and forth and then accelerate forward. The ability to accelerate forward is really nice. It allows you, it's basically where you build these stupid uh, run from this area, 10 meters or 10 yards to the next area. There's like absolutely not testing any kind of fucking skill, but you can win like quarter second there maybe. <laughs> I mean, why not? If you're a master, I mean, rather just, just send it uh, if you can. And never send it full speed. This is how you break 180. This is how you fuck yourself up. Just if you're comfortable and if you know you can move bad, better than others, you're like coming in a stage that's like movement and you're like, yeah, whatever. And then you end up winning it. It feels good, man. I mean, should have put your practice in, huh? Let's talk about cones. The cones is legit. So this is, this is like, eh, conditioning, you know? The cones is the stuff, it's real madness. Two exercises built together. The first one is around the cone. Basically start either on more left side, the more right side, I like to just go always downrange, and it's gonna be either clockwise and then it's clock, or it's gonna be quarter clockwise and then explode. So, what we have here is one cone, then 16 feet to two cones, and one foot between them. What happens here if we explode it from the right side? We come on the right side outside, de accelerate go in backwards around the left cone, explode. And if we start it on the left side, then we come left side, go in, explode. What you can do with this drill is to put another cone in 16 
and there you're going to be reversing basically again around the cone especially if you do it with a hammer or with the actual handgun like on uh on the range you will turn to either naruto or hadouken run and if you do full sand on this it's a way to test the how much friction do you really have between the range surface in your uh, shoes so if you have different kinds of shoes and you're unsure which will give you the better connection that's the way to go and if you learn if you want to learn how to fall with your gun safely that's the way to go too so let's start on the right side counterclockwise oh and when you start you go low and you start doing the tippy taps like a really fast fucking tippy taps and you're like fuck you i'm gonna do it i'm gonna fucking do it practice session uh, I would do like this three times on the left side three times on the right side and then I will do like a ticket shuffle one or two probably without explosion then I will do the side one in and out with both feet uh, just starting one way in reversing and then another way in reversing so it's balanced then I will do the right foot in the drop step, left foot in with explosions, and maybe one, two more ticket shuffles. That's it. Like you, you don't really need to do a lot. Anyway, uh, one exercise I wanted to talk about is this shit. So this is a conditioning for skiers. The idea is you can keep contact with it and uh, use your edges and stuff to actually not fall down completely while your body kind of stays in the same position. That gives you a lot of burn. The only difference you can do for USPSA, you can still use a weight, you can use the hammer, you can use your actual handgun and do the right fire. And watch your sights carefully because they're gonna jump a lot. Okay, so for the actual information, I think this is enough. Um, probably explained a lot for you already to try. Go and search for NFL videos and how football players practice for for their stuff like movement practice movement conditioning um, and I'm gonna do this but I don't know if I could record because the camera is overheating constantly so I hope this works go ahead and uh, do the whole subscribe notifications and stuff like I really hate to beg and I hate when people are like saying things like this um, but some of you started actually requesting videos and um, expressing gratitude or how do you say that saying that they like what I do so I'm just trying to really give back to the community. A lot of people help me along the way and continue to help me to improve. I just really like this sport. Just trying to give back and trying to maybe motivate someone to try the same thing. So if you feel like this is a good deal, you know what to do. But I really hate to beg, so I'm just gonna be... If you ever recorded video and you were shy to actually post it on the internet, go ahead and smash that report button, reporting dislike. Stefan from Red Fire Ninja, thanks for watching. If you ever felt like your chest is about to explode during physical training, Go ahead and... If you ever daydreamed about shooting Ipsic World Championship on the Super Squad, go ahead and smash that dislike button.
overtrained and couldn't function at work the next day, go ahead and uh, give yourself some rest, man. Or a woman. Just training is important. But if you don't rest between the workout days, you're just gonna kill yourself. It's not gonna work. Give yourself some rest. If you ever wanted to lose weight and didn't try intermittent fasting, go ahead and give it a try. And by the way, eat after fasted, while fasted, well, still fasted, right before your eating window, is a legit way to turn your white fat cells into brown fat cells. So it will give you endless amount of energy, cosmic powers, superhero strength, and instant GM classification. If you ever got sweat into your eye, completely shut during the drill, go ahead and bring that down next time, all right? Thanks for watching.